everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before in case this is your first time watching hi my name is leslie i'm so glad to have you here on my channel i talk about all things luxury from handbags i do have a soft spot for handbags all the way up to jewelry small leather goods i film unboxings reviews comparison videos shopping vlogs from time to time so if that sounds like a thing i would love for you to consider subscribing to my channel and also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it so you might be asking yourself why is she wearing a pair of sunnies on her head and that is because today's video will be all about sunglasses both my luxury sunglasses but also like the cheaper ones that i picked up here and there over the last couple of years and <laughs> just to preface this i think like way back when i first started my youtube channel in 2020 i filmed a video called i think like 10 luxury items that are not worth your money or that i wouldn't purchase and i was this close to including luxury sunglasses because back then i was 100 percent team cheapo sunglasses like 20 euros max since then um, i've slightly shifted my my perspective i guess on luxury sunglasses and i've been able to acquire not one not two but three pairs of luxury sunnies and these right here i haven't even unboxed yet so this will be a combined video of my luxury sunglass collection with an unboxing with in general like my train of thought when it comes to luxury sunglasses i'm gonna start in chronological order with the sunglasses that started it all and these are my first luxury sunglasses from Chanel. I think they've since changed the way that the sunglasses come in. This is in like a faux leather and I want to say the current packaging is like a fabric material, but don't quote me on that. And these are, I think these are still my favorite sunglasses to date and I've been wearing them like constantly. These are the ones that I hope you can see it on here. Uh, like the main body of the sunglasses basically is black and the sides as well with tiny little cc's on here but like the attention grabbing aspect is the like contrast chanel on the top rim of the sunglasses which you can see when you tilt your head down a little bit so let me try them on there we go yeah really happy with these and also the fact that they don't have these like nose bits right here means that you can easily pop them in your hair without yeah having to worry about your hair getting tangled in the nose flappy things i'm sure there's a specific name for these like silicone nose things so if you're more well versed when it comes to sunglass or like eyeglasses terminology definitely let me know what uh, these things are called i'm sure you know what i'm talking about so yeah definitely still my favorite pair of luxury sunglasses and the ones that started it all because um, I think I bought these in like June of last year and then in October, I think October or like September, these made their way into my collection. They are from Tiffany & Co. And I think one of the two items that I actually own from Tiffany & Co, I did purchase a silver necklace, like the really basic one, the Return to Tiffany one in New York City, I want to say like 2014, 2015. So ages and ages ago oh okay and i do own the set of two of the like paper cups but in porcelain but yeah other than that this is my most recent and one of the i guess three only items that i have from tiffany and co definitely very different in style and with these like nose bits that i just <laughs> was referring to and yeah really different because a lot like lighter in color and a lot more like summer appropriate maybe although don't get me wrong i'm wearing these uh, all the way through summer as well but yeah a lot more dainty and um, with gold aspects right here and like tortoiseshell and the tiffany blue like aspect right there really happy with these one i haven't worn them that much yet because as I said, they're more suited to summer, in my personal opinion, and we're just going into summer, which I'm really excited about. It's not like my usual go-to shape. I usually go for more like cat eye ones, whereas these, they do have a cat eye aspect where this goes up a little bit, but usually I don't have uh, like these rounded aspects on sunglasses, but I think they look quite well on me. Let me know what you think. And um, yeah. So these are my second pair of luxury sunnies. And it's basically been downhill ever since I purchased my Chanel ones. It's a slippery slope. And as I said, I initially was like, okay, 
luxury sunglasses are a waste of money you can just as easily find ones in like a similar style in like souvenir or touristy shops or like at H&M whatever in like drugstores even but as I said I did change my mind a little bit as for the Louis Vuitton unboxing it's definitely not a true unboxing which you would have been able to tell from the way that this ribbon was tied on there. I'm not a professional when it comes to ribbon tying and I've also already worn these sunnies I think like two or three times. I purchased them in early March. This is the box which is like super unpractical, way too bulky for anything else but maybe if you're wearing a Neverfull GM you might be able to fit this in there but other than that I guess I mean the interior is beautiful it's like this microfibery material but super impractical as like an actual Sunny's case but the Sunny's came in this like fabric pouch which I think also serves as like dual purpose as a cleaning cloth at least the pouch has this like it, it feels like these cleaning cloths anyway let me reveal to you my newest pair of luxury sunnies I hope the camera focuses and what I really like about these again more of a cat eye shape when you compare it to the Chanel sunnies pretty similar in shape and this is definitely my go-to shape when it comes to sunglasses also when you tilt down your head a little you see these like gold aspects and between the gold aspects I hope again the camera focuses otherwise I'm going to insert close-ups you have the monogram canvas which also comes on the side of the arms right here and I really love this detail what I don't particularly like and I didn't really think about it when I purchased these on the inside of the back end of the arms that go behind your ear you have this like rubbery material and when you use like products in your hair which I I actually don't other than like the Gizu hair oil but that's only for the like ends of my hair I don't put any hairspray or anything like that in my hair but still you see some discoloration or like fading I don't really know like product buildup but as I said I don't really use hair products anyway so yeah just to bear that in mind I mean you don't really see it when you're wearing the sunglasses but it looks like a like whitish coat on this rubbery material you can scratch it off with your fingernails but I thought that was something that um, was worth mentioning anyway so yeah here we are and again no no spits which means you can put the sunnies in your hair but you can also which I think is the main purpose of sunglasses put them to protect your eyes from the sun and yeah as I said when you tilt your head down you see this like monogram detail and the gold studs so yeah this is my latest addition to my luxury sunglasses collection also the latest addition to my Louis Vuitton collection actually I want to say the last Louis Vuitton item that I had purchased before these pairs of sunnies was probably my reverse monogram card holder and that item has been in my collection since like late 2020 I mean it's not a like conscious decision to not be purchasing as much Louis Vuitton anymore as I used to but I just feel like I've covered all the bases when it comes to Louis Vuitton in particular when it comes to like SLGs I'm not saying that I won't be purchasing any more Louis Vuitton going forward but I've just um, yeah slowed down significantly oh by the way I did film a full Louis Vuitton collection video a couple of months ago I'm gonna link to that up here obviously these pairs of sunnies aren't included in that collection video because these are quite a recent edition and yeah what can I say I'm really happy with these let me know which one out of the three luxury sunnies that I showed you is your favorite um, in general and also on me I did try on all of them didn't I I think I did um, in case I didn't here are the Tiffany ones again and also I mean you do have these like flappy things but still when you're a little careful you can also wear the Tiffany sunnies in your head just have to be a little mindful of uh, not like ripping out uh, strands of your hair but yeah that's it for my luxury pairs of sunnies but as I mentioned I used to be a cheapo sunny kind of girl I'm just gonna whisk through them and as I go through my collection you might notice a theme when it comes to cheap sunglasses um, at least the ones that I added to my collection these are the first pair I'm not too sure anymore where I got them from yeah these are like mirrored and as I said noticing a theme 
I have another pair of mirrored sunnies. These I purchased in a touristy shop in Palma de Mallorca. Love the shape of these, it's like tapered and also down here. I mean, love these. And another pair of mirrored sunnies. These I purchased in New York City. I think the shop was called Charming Charlie, if I'm not mistaken. They have a bunch of knickknacks, like both clothing, but also like home stuff, cute tableware and mugs, but also sunglasses and like accessories, handbags and stuff. So another pair of mirrored sunnies and yeah, I just have a thing for these and this for example is a style of sunglasses that I wouldn't want to spend luxury money on because they are quite novelty. I mean I do wear these type of mirrored sunglasses quite a bit but still I wouldn't want to spend luxury money on these and yeah I mean from a like eye safety or like eye health kind of perspective no idea if these even are remotely helpful in shielding of the sun but as a fashion statement i really love these like mirrored ones and two more different style altogether these are like full black <laughs> sunglasses a little similar to the chanel ones but yeah different shape and yeah they don't have the accent like white or like beige chanel thing on the rim right here but these i think i purchased in a drugstore um, yeah, pretty basic. I'm not really gravitating towards these anymore, but I mean, there's no point in selling it. It's basically like no name. I paid like like 10 euros for them. And another, or like my last cheapo pair of sunnies. These I've worn two bits. I purchased them again in like a touristy souvenir shop um, on one of the piers in San Francisco because um, I, that day I took a like one of these hop on, hop off bus tours. And because I'm an idiot, I forgot to bring my sunglasses. And when you're sitting on the top deck of one of these touristy buses on a super sunny day, um, that's not the best combination. So at one of the stops where I wanted to exit the bus anyway, I ended up going into one of these souvenir shops and picked these pairs of sunnies out. And I really love the shape. Also this like gold detail right here and the tortoise shell. So a little softer than a full black pair of sunnies. Although I do feel I'm able to pull off like full black sunnies as well, but like in combination with my lighter hair, um, I think the like tortoiseshell is really pretty. So yeah, I'm surrounded by sunglasses right now. Let me know which one was your favorite also. Let me know what your general thoughts are on spending luxury money on sunglasses versus just buying non-branded ones. I would love to hear your thoughts in particular given that I've kind of changed my opinion or like perspective over the years. Let me know your thoughts. I would love to chat with you in the comments below. As for the luxury sunnies, I'm gonna insert like the serial code or like the product reference and if I'm able to also links to the particular sunnies that I showed you. So if you're interested in a particular pair of sunnies, I mean the Chanel ones are old season I guess but they were super popular so I wouldn't be surprised if Chanel decided to bring them out as kind of a regular thing. The Louis Vuitton pair of sunnies are pretty recent. I mean, as I said, I purchased them a couple of months ago, but chances are you might still be able to get your hands on these. And yeah, I just love the monogram detailing on the sides and on the rim right here. Anyway, let me know what you think. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. That would really help me out a lot. And yeah, I guess subscribe. I upload every Wednesday and I would love to have you back. Bye.